Hello and welcome back to my channel, Family Tech. I am so glad you're here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified of when I upload. I do upload every Thursday. I will start uploading a few other videos throughout the week, sometimes, not all the time, but for sure every Thursday you will get a new video from me to help you manage and understand all of the technology in your home. So make sure you're subscribed to get you all the tech tips and advice that you didn't even know you needed. So today I am reviewing the Griffin AX Wi-Fi router. Now this is a very awesome router, so let's get right into it. Hello friends, I'm Sarah Kimmel, your friendly neighborhood tech expert. You can find me helping families with tech problems on TV news, podcasts, Instagram, Facebook, and my website, familytechzone.com. So I've mentioned Griffin a few times in the past, this is the Wi-Fi router that I use in my home. I love the Griffin router. I have had a Griffin in my home since 2018. Um, this is the one that I have had in my home. This is the Griffin Tower. Uh, as you can see, it's really nice looking. Um, it has the internet port, power, reset, and then three additional LAN ports. I'm not gonna get into a lot of speeds and feeds on this channel because you have a ton of other YouTube channels that will help you do that. What I'm going to do is any products that are technology related, I'm going to tell you what the benefit is for your family because most of the time the numbers, like what we call speeds and feeds, so like how fast it is and everything like that, um, doesn't matter to most parents. There's plenty of other channels that will help you determine those, but I'm going to tell you the benefits to your family specifically in this channel. So this is the old Griffin Tower. This is the one I have had in my home since 2018. They also came out with, um, a couple years ago, maybe about a year ago, this Griffin Guardian, which is a smaller device that covers um, a smaller area. You can use these two together to extend your Wi-Fi coverage in your home. So you have a tower and you have a guardian or you can have two towers or you can just have you know two or three guardians throughout the home to extend that coverage. So here's what I'm gonna say. This tower covers 3,000 square feet. This covers about 1,800 square feet. And the square, well, it's basically a circle. It's a radius around this. So if this device is in the corner of your home, you might be losing half of your Wi-Fi coverage to the outside of your home. So uh, putting it in a central location is going to help Wi-Fi speeds, and this is across any routers at all. Like the radius starts from the device out. So you wanna make sure that you're gonna have enough coverage. That's why you can have multiple devices working together in what is called a mesh network. And this is just going to help extend the coverage throughout the home and make sure that you don't have any dead spots. So now that we've talked about uh, kind of the hardware, the old hardware, let's talk about the brand new Griffin AX router. So for comparison, this is the tower and this is the new AX. You can see it's a little bit smaller, doesn't have kind of that quite angular look to it, but it is still really a pretty router. It doesn't have, it doesn't look like a alien ship or anything like that as some of the other routers. So this is the AX model. We have one internet port and one LAN port power and reset. So this is a change from the tower because the tower had three additional LAN ports. This AX model only has one LAN port. So if you have devices that you need to plug directly into your router, you're going to want to purchase an additional switch. Now what a switch does is it basically gives you more ports. You plug the switch into the single LAN port and then you can plug everything else into that switch. So now that you know this only has one LAN port, this has three LAN ports, let's get into some of the other differences between the new Griffin AX model and the Griffin Tower original. Now, price difference, so this AX model is $279, this is $219, and the Guardian is $100. So like I said, I really like to extend coverage through the house um, with a Guardian because it's kind of a cheaper way, but I like to keep this as my base. Um, 
One thing I will mention is the Guardian and the Tower will not work with AX. So if you have an AX device, you have to get another AX device to extend that coverage to work together in a mesh. You can't use the Guardian or the Tower with the AX model. Um, so what the Griffin AX model does have is Wi-Fi 6. And why that's important is Wi-Fi 6 isn't just the next version of Wi-Fi, which it is. Uh, Wi-Fi 6 is going to improve the speeds on your network. So for instance, we are just going to get a little into speeds and feeds for two seconds. This one can handle 1.3 gigabits per second throughput. So if your internet speed is a gig um, internet speed, you know, you'll want this one over the Griffin Guardian, which can only handle 550 megabits per second. So this one actually has 40% increase in speed. It can handle 4.3 gigabits per second. So that is a huge uptick from the Griffin Tower. And what it does, it doesn't cover more space. So this covers 3,000 square feet. This also covers 3,000 square feet. But where you get the improvement is the management of the traffic. So here's how I like to explain it. If you have a freeway and you only have two lanes on that freeway, and it's getting congested all the time, there's traffic, the cars are getting backed up a lot. So you add additional lanes. So now you have four lanes of traffic and the traffic moves much more quickly. So, so that's the same thing with Wi-Fi 6. It handles the traffic much more quickly because there's more lanes of traffic. So if you have a ton of different devices on your network, which I do, this is going to be really helpful for you, especially with all the IoT devices. Like I said, I have over 60 devices connected to my network and you know, it's light bulbs, it's, you know, phones, it's tablets, it's TVs, it's, um, it's smart speakers. So all of these different devices have their own line of communication to the internet. And when you open up that traffic, when you add more lanes, it's going to allow them all to pass through much more quickly because they're not getting congested into those two lanes. So hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. This is why, this is another reason why this does not work with this because you're going to be limited to this. So why did you even get this? Because you won't have all those lanes of traffic because you're going to be limited with the other devices on your network. So uh, it would be like um, having all four lanes of traffic. <laughs> this is exactly what it's like having all four lanes of traffic, but two of them are closed for construction. <laughs> So don't, uh, don't, you can't mix and match. It won't even let you. So this is the difference between the new Griffin AX router and the tower. Um, I've been using it for a little while. It's been fantastic. My speed on my network is amazing. And I really, I max out because the, where I live, I can't get as high speeds as I want, but I can still stream, you know, four different TVs all at the same time work on my laptop, get notifications on my phone, and nothing is getting backed up. And then backed up as in traffic backed up, not backed up as in backing up your computer, <laughs> which I will do another video on how to back up for sure. So that's kind of the differences between the AX, the Tower, and the Guardian. Now let's dig into a little bit of the Griffin app. So the reason I love Griffin is because of the parental controls that are built into the Wi-Fi router. And really, it is the most amazing parental controls that you can find in any Wi-Fi product available. So you can create all the users on your house, which most of the Wi-Fi routers that have parental controls, you can assign devices to different users, set timeframes. All of these things are kind of available on all of the different um, parental control Wi-Fi devices, but this one handles it much better. And you have the added security protection that comes with the Griffin devices, which is they'll be actively checking for any ports that are available to compromise. We talked about how your network gets hacked. So uh, 
go check out that to check out the different security features of the Griffin. But it has that added security. The content filtering is great on this device. You can add open DNS, which I do, and you can make sure all of your kids devices have everything blocked that you want it to be blocked. So we'll go, we'll dig through a little bit more of the app right now. So this is the Griffin app. You can see there is actually different things that are displayed, whether you are using the AX network or you are using the regular tower or guardian. Here on the AX, they have this total used data. You can go into here and see exactly which users are using the most data on your network by which day. And you also have this internet speed test. So you can go ahead and test your download speeds and upload speeds. This is only available on the AX devices. Now on the now both will actually allow you to see what repeaters are on the network and what the RSSI is for each repeater. And this number just means what kind of signal it's getting from the base. So you want to see a higher number here, higher number equals better. So you can see which repeaters are getting the best signal from the base through this little my network area. If you go back to the dashboard, you can see the rest of it is exactly the same. You can suspend the internet to the entire home, or you can check out your security center, which will show you what ports are opened, port scans, if they've detected any, any weak password detection. It's going to, this isn't about weak passwords that you have on like different online accounts. This is weak passwords on any IoT devices, any just standard passwords that are here. It's going to detect to see if there are any of those available. And then this anomaly detection as well. So outside the security, we go back to the dashboard. You can access the user dashboard by swiping up from here and tapping on any users that you want to look at, or you can just tap the users icon that's available right down here. So you'll also see something different here in the users section. So if we go to Michael, you can see these are the same devices, screen time, Here's where you can set any screen time limits that you have. So if you set a bedtime every night, if you set homework times, that uh, different internet sites are not available during homework time, or different sites are available during homework time. Or you can set a screen time allowance that will limit them based on how long they've been on the internet during the day. You also have this web browsing history so you can see exactly what websites they've been to. You can clear the history. You can click on here and go to the site to see exactly what that site is. And then here is where you can set the access control. So you can manage by URL and just type in the URL and allow it or block it at specific times, or you can manage the apps. And here's where you will see all the different apps that are available. You can see AX has a few additional ones. So we've got Disney Plus here. AX also has Sling TV here. So there's a few applications that they have added for AX, but you can set any of these to always blocked, blocked during homework, allow only for homework time, or unrestricted. We're going to always block Discord for my son. And then you can see there's another category here in AX where it says manage by category. So you can set different categories to be always blocked, allowed during homework time, and things like that. So, you know, explicit content, you want always blocked, but email, unrestricted, but dating, online games, you can block during homework time, and things like that. So you can just manage by category here on the AX. Another thing we've got in AX is insights, and this is back related to the data usage. So you can see how much data they've used. My son is actually on the regular network, so that's why most of his data is over here. 
but you'll be able to see what kind of categories they are visiting the most um, either in a list view or a graph view right here. So this insight section is actually based on the web browsing history. So when you look at this web browsing, if you clear this data, it would also clear the information from this insights area, but you can see which categories they're spending the most time on in this insights and you can go back into the access control and block by category if they're spending too much time on a specific area. Another thing that is AX exclusive is this data usage area. This goes back to the dashboard when I showed you the data used per user. You can see which devices they are using and how much data it's using. So if we go into mine and go into data usage, you can see which devices are using the most data and the settings. So this is where you set the default content filter. You can lock safe search to always be on, lock safe YouTube to always be on. You can set up ad blocker and store browsing history. You want to definitely check yes for store browsing history. This is a new feature in AX is include homework time and screen time. And what's great about this is if your child uses some websites on homework time, you can set it so that it does not tick that time away from their regular screen time. So any items that they're doing in homework doesn't count against their screen time if you toggle this on. And then of course, allow VPN. We've talked about VPN. Make sure you check out that video if you're not sure what a VPN is all about so you can figure that out. This is the devices page. So you can see what's connected to the primary, what's connected to the guest, what's connected to the IoT network, what's connected wired. Um, you can also filter it by what kind of things are games, what's priority, which ones have homebound on them. Homebound is the homebound is the app that lets you bring the device back to the protected network wherever it is in the world. The last thing I want to show you about the about the AX is the ability to segment the networks. So we have these Wi-Fi settings and there's these different networks. So if you go into the IoT network, you can actually set it up to have network isolation and client isolation so that any of the devices that are on the IoT network cannot communicate either with each other or with the devices on your regular Wi-Fi network. This is again just on the AX devices and it's a really great feature that allows you to make sure that your devices are going to be able to talk to each other, talk to the internet, but won't compromise anything that is on your network. Those are the main differences between the regular AX device and the tower. So hopefully you've got a little bit better idea of what the Griffin can offer you and what is the difference between the different Griffin models. So check it out if you have a lot of devices in your home. Like I said, if you have a smaller home, Griffin Guardian might work out great for you. If you don't have a ton of devices on your network, you can definitely get away with just a Griffin tower. So good luck. Make sure you are subscribed. Ask me any questions on my Instagram at family tech. I'm at family tech on all social media platforms. So definitely hit me up over there. I'm happy to answer any questions from parents and um, even questions from kids if you are interested as well. Don't forget to subscribe and get notified when I upload, which is every Thursday. So we'll see you next time.